Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction for you. It is of Nanobi's new track, Two Nights, the first track from Monster Cat in 2023. You'll be asking, Bowtie, why are we talking about this song? Well, that's because that was voted on by the members, the channel membership here. So if you want to have a say in uh, what songs I react to, what videos I make out here, uh, then, uh, you know, Join channel membership today for just two bucks a month if you want to say in the stuff I do and, and help support the channel. But uh, yeah, Nanobi is back on Monster Cat starting 2023, I almost said 2022, off with some happy hardcore, which is a, a nice return to kind of form. I believe this is Nanobi's first time back since Chipland in, what even was Chipland? Would have been forever ago. I'm just even trying to just quick look here. Oh, Bubble Beam 2017 was the last one on Monster Cat from uh, Nanobi. So Nanobi is back with Two Night, and so let's hop into it right away. Uh, I'm very intrigued to hear how this is gonna go, so um, without any further ado, this is Two Night by Nanobi. I also hope I'm saying that right, Nanobi? I think so. Is it gonna be Crown Town-like, or is it gonna be like old school Happy Hardcore? Got a bit of that Crown Town vibe to it. I kind of miss this music. I don't know if the vocals are my style per se, but... Hyper Potion sample? Okay, Nanobi, two nights, brand new track, first track for Monster Cat 2023. Um, it's very fun, very fun. It's, that is what I expected in terms of kind of fun, energy, carefree, bright, chip tune esque style from Nanobi. Um, that's kind of what we've come to know and love from him in the past. Um, that being said, uh, I think I've grown away from the style a little bit over the years. Um, not very, uh, not so much for me as the kind of high pitched or pitched up vocals with the kind of very, 
I don't know. I don't know how to describe it personally, but it just feels uh, bright. I think is just the best way to put it. I I'm not a huge fan of happy hardcore in the first place, but this is some of the stuff I like better. Uh, I would say, um, but still, like a I don't know. It's it's interesting for me to put uh, a, like a words to right now because like I love Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road is fantastic, um, and I know all of his stuff always gets compared to Rainbow Road, but I do think it is his best song. Um, so I'm just wondering, like, what difference is this versus, like, a Rainbow Road? I'm not sure if it's more of a uh, storyline-esque of sorts, if it just hit at the right time, the right place Rainbow Road did. But, um, yeah, it's not to say this isn't a great song. I, I, I think it's pretty fun. Uh, it's just not so much up my alley nowadays. So uh, still great. Uh, still enjoy it. Still got some fun stuff out of it. But um, in the end, it's just, uh, you know, not... Not so much my style nowadays. Uh, I, I'd be interested to know, is this a more European style? Like, is this a more European? Because like Crown Town was a little bit more of had that, um, I don't know if it was EU centric of sorts, that just more more people from the EU or from, I guess, the that sort of the way. Well, yeah. More people from the EU like uh, uh, like relate to these kind of tracks more than I do from Canada. So um, I'd be interested to know uh, just what, like, because I don't hear a ton of this in like very American um, style of music. It feels a lot more European centric. So I don't know, maybe if you're from Europe, let me know if you, if you think this is way like if you're, it just relates to you better uh, in that sense, but I'd, I'd love to hear. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear any and all comments actually in the comment section below. Uh, but other than that, I've been Botep Media and I'll see you guys in another video.